Hi, this is Jared Dees with Ave Maria Press, and today I want to show you a quick little tutorial using the Smartboard on how to create interactive questions and answers using tabs. This will be our end product, um, which we'll get to in just a second. Um, some of you have probably noticed that we've added some Smartboard notebook files to use for those schools that have interactive whiteboards in their classrooms. Um, I'll pull it up here so you can see what it looks like. Um, here it is. Just just so you know, it's basically taking some pages from the actual textbook itself, um, some activities from the teacher's wraparound edition, the handouts that, that you might hand out to the kids and go over in class, um, and then some other interactive things that are, that are different from the PowerPoints that are offered. Um, and the, this is the one I want to talk about today, is how we created these pull tabs with questions and answers or definitions. Um, you can see these are uh, little directions throughout the entire presentation on what to do in each page. And if you had the students come up, they could pull out behind this picture some of the definitions of these keywords um, that are hidden behind the image if they drag the arrow. So that's what we're going to create really quickly today. Um, here's what we're going to try to recreate in just a moment. Um, here's an image of Jesus and the cross, and then we have a question here, and then the answer we can pull down. So here's how we do that. We'll, we'll create a new page. We're going to look in our gallery for, you can see there's a number of different images, and we can either scroll down and find the one we want, or if we want to just find um, Jesus, well, it'll come up with some images um, that are stored in their stock photos um, in Smartboard. We'll pull this one out with Jesus in the cross, make it a little bigger, and, and center it. And then we're going to search for some tabs. You can either use the tabs that they provide or create your own using just um, some images up here and some of these tools. But we're going to create um, our own. So first, first of all, we're going to just highlight the one, drag it down, move them around a little bit. And this is eventually what we're going to have. We're going to have a tab with a question and then the answer hidden behind um, the ground and Jesus' feet. So what happens here, this is actually two different images. There's an image of the word pull and an image of the tab. And they're actually, if you click on the little arrow, you'll see that they're actually grouped together. So we want to ungroup them, and by ungrouping them, we can pull out the actual word pull and move these as two separate images. We're actually going to delete pull and add in our own text with the question, who was Jesus? And I'm going to center it under the tab. And just so I don't forget to do this later, I'm going to highlight them both by dragging a box around them, click on the little arrow in the upper right-hand corner, and highlight group and group them together. And by grouping them together, they're locked as one thing. Um, when I move them around, they're moved as one unit. So we're going to do some, something similar with the answer. So uh, I'll just create like a mock amp answer. Who was Jesus? Jesus was Son of God, Christ, Savior, etc. So you can see, just like before, these are two separate images or, or units that we can move around. And we're going to lock them together. by highlighting them both again. Actually, we're going to move them a little bit closer. Highlight them both. Click on the, either one of the arrows. Um, group them as one. And now they're just one unit. So when I pull them, um, they go together. I'm going to hide the text under the black part there. So it's hidden. And, and now when you have the students, either you can pull it up by yourself if you're in the front of the room lecturing, or you can have some of the students come up and quiz each other and, and come up to the board. Um, drag and pull it down for the answer. Um, just adds a little bit of interactivity to um, using a smart board. These are some things you can't really do with a, a PowerPoint uh, or Microsoft PowerPoint or Keynote. So it really adds a little bit of interactivity that I think smart boards are really designed to do. So um, I hope this was helpful and good luck.